Hallelujah. Every time you come into God's presence, you must have a well-defined, well-thought-about expectation. Don't just come and say, Lord, I know you will do what you will do. No, no. Because you see, the realm of the spirit, the anointing of God responds to your expectation. Your expectation is like a magnet in the realm of the spirit. Listen to me. Your expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. You will never get a miracle if you don't expect one. And even when you do, you will not sustain it. Because you will not appreciate it. An expectation will create hunger in you. The woman with the issue of blood had an expectation. And she said to herself, if I may but touch the helm of his garment, I shall be made whole. Although it was violating the Levitical law, as far as it governed holiness and cleanliness at that time, but she said, I will risk everything. I have an expectation. I know that if I can only touch the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. Blind Bartimaeus. When Jesus was passing. And that would be the last time he would pass that street. Blind Bartimaeus. Although he was blind. When he heard that Jesus was passing. The Bible says he cried. He said, thou son of David. Have mercy on me. And the religious people were kicking him away. And they said, don't, the Bible says he shouted them all. There's something about expectation. It, it creates an atmosphere of faith. Your expectation is the heartbeat of faith. Hallelujah. That I expect to receive. And so you pray, you plan, you are not distracted. When you come with an expectation, you are not distracted. You say, Lord, there is an anointing tonight that will come upon my life and cause me to rise and rule in the midst of my enemies. And your expectation prepares your spirit so that as the Holy Ghost is moving and blessing people, your heart is open. The Bible says he expected to receive something from them. And indeed he received hallelujah tonight many of us have come inside and outside and some have come with prayer requests some of you have fasted and prayed preparing for this meeting say Lord you will change my story and that of my family listen if God cannot help you then our gathering is useless our confidence is in the fact that God is able hallelujah able He's almighty, all powerful. Every time God wants to release miracles into your life, he begins to magnify himself. Suddenly you begin to see how mighty. And the Bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying, can God make a way for them? And he supplied manna. Suddenly the Holy Spirit begins to remind you of the things that God has done. That's why testimonies are important. Because it reminds you. Of the faithfulness of Jesus. Moses instructed the people. He said as your children grow. Make sure they don't lose touch of what God is doing. And his miraculous act. Take out time to teach them. Let the children know. Every time they built altars. They said when the children ask. Let them know that it was on account of the hand of God. God is still doing miracles. God is a miracle walking God. Are you listening to me? You must convince yourself tonight. Tonight is not the time when you begin to question and say, how can cancer disappear? You see, when I hear people ask these questions, it's because they do not stay in God's presence. When you stay in God's presence, you begin to acclimatize to his realities. Hallelujah. How in the world can you explain a genotype changing from SS to AA? How in the world can you explain HIV going? living a man one moment you are hiv positive one moment you are healed one moment you have cancer one moment you are on a wheelchair another moment you are up one moment someone is dead another moment is back to life listen i need you to understand that the secret of miracles is to realize that god is a creator say after me a creator you see unbelief the the environment that we live in has brought so much unbelief in us hallelujah when a lady begins to feel a lump grow in her 
nobody questions and says where did the molecules gather themselves and begin to crystallize together hallelujah and then to begin to grow and become a tumor but when we say it's disappearing people ask all kinds of questions and say where did it go to how did it come where did it come in the first place someone who was born and can hear suddenly becomes deaf and then they say this and this went bad and then we do not ask ourselves how did the deterioration start but when god is reversing the process we begin to question and say are these deaf people are they really hearing are the blind people really seeing when you understand that god is a creator say after me god is a creator and the creative nature of god is such that the only raw material that is needed is the word of god listen all that you see is not all that there is that's going i'm i'm giving you a revelation that will make you accept the miracle working power of god all that you see is not all that there is i hope you realize that there are insects in this place there are microorganisms in this place can you see them but you will know when you drop something here it will ferment after days is that correct the fact that your optical eyes cannot see the entire span of the universe and the things that god has created does not mean they are not in existence are you listening to me he was in a valley full of dry bones ezekiel 37 and he said son of man these bones are very dry one one bone is down there miles away kilometers away buried in, in the depth of the earth and he says son of man i want to show you something about the creative power of god's word i am about to speak and if you repeat after me every bone still knows his identity and it can connect back he said and as i spoke suddenly there was a sound the same sound in acts chapter 2. spirit of the sovereign lord would you come and make your presence known revealed the glory of the reason spirit of the sovereign lord come and make your presence known we the glory of the Let the weight of your glory let it cover us. Let the light of your river flow. And let this truth of your kingdom reign in us. And let this truth of your kingdom.